back again. You're with me. So it's your busy buddy, eh? Hey, we are dab. Eh? Anyways, you're welcome to the trailer of the week. My name is Ella the Fourth, and of course, we're bringing you the hottest of all the gists that has happened during the course of the week. Yvonne Nelson, I have your mercy. We say pharmacist, yan yan. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you guys have heard about the stories that Yvonne Nelson wrote in her book. In fact, she launched a book and that's the first time that I've ever seen a celebrity write a book and has got everybody buzzing. Even me, I buzz. I buzz and I buzz off. Because the things in the book, <coughs> it choke. So in the book, she told us about how she was dating a yaya, which is public knowledge, by the way. But what we did not know is the part where she said that he was cheating on her with Tonto DK. She also mentioned that Sakodia got her pregnant and she had to abort the pregnancy. There was a lot going on in that book. I don't think I can buy that book for the sake of my mental health. I don't want to lose my mind. Neither do I want to lose my life because that information or all the information in that book was just too much. And now I'm asking myself, what's the purpose? Why? Now let's look at the title of the book. I am not Yvonne Nelson. Did you know that Yvonne Nelson's present father is not her father and she just found out? Hence the title of the book, I am not Yvonne Nelson. So Nelson is not her father. So the question is, who is your daddy? Got daddy, big shoes, got the club banging. I've never really been a fan of pranks. In fact, whenever I see or come across a prank video on Instagram or wherever I am, or wherever social media platform I am, I just scroll past. Because these days, people are lacking creativity. And that's the truth. So the thin line between being creative and being outright stupid, yes, I said it, a very thin line. Try not to cross it in your quest for clicks and likes on the gram this guy in fact i don't even want to mention his name because i feel like i'll be giving him lots of publicity but anyways they are still going to put up his picture regardless so this guy trinity who posts silly pranks on the internet in fact the, the, the there's one i saw that one and you know when you're sometimes you're pressing your phone and you just want to press somebody's neck via the internet that's how i felt watching this video of him pranking a kid I mean, there are levels to this madness, but this guy has just crossed level 500 billion. How can you be pranking a small child and the girl was literally crying? He was saying, did you see my thing? He was peeing and I, I don't know what he was doing, but did you see my thing? What is the color of my thing? Hey, you saw my thing. Are you mad or something? That guy needs to be picked up ASAP. Now, I don't even know if he's staging his kids. Or if he's staging his pranks or some of his pranks are staged where he yanks people's wigs on the road or you're scaring elderly people you don't know who has high blood pressure you don't know who they meant you don't even know who they crazy they, if, hey. the pro of police says or is moving the motion that says please can we like arrest this guy right now what is even the the, the pro i don't even know the protocol that will somebody should move for the motion to arrest this guy because I don't understand what this madness is. If you're trying to be creative, be creative. If you need a bed in the psychiatric ward because you are mad, let us know so that we'll give you admission. I know that sometimes I always advocate for, you know, let everybody be, do what they want to do, make their choices. As long as it's not causing World War Three, it's not hurting anybody. But in my own opinion, if you're a guy, if you're Nigerian, I don't know about any other guy in any part of the world, but if you're a guy, you're Nigerian, and you love Lemio, you're a babe. <laughs> you love Lemio? Oh, you don't know Lemio? I will tell you who Lemio is. He's a Korean actor, and for some reason, people, girls love him. Like, I've taken my time. I've studied, I've looked at his picture. He looks like... Chinese doll, baby. So what is... What is... I mean... I'll take your ledoche over him any day. Like, what is this? What What is this love about? But anyways... <clears throat> he had his birthday. I think it's 31st. 
it's his 31st birthday and he posted a picture of how one entire room was filled with gifts from fans mostly females all around the world Limio. <laughs> boys over flowers what the heck is boys over flowers no disrespect to K-drama fans. Now, I just noticed that um, K-drama has taken the sp space of uh, Z-World and Bollywood. And it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. If you're trying to walk to me as a guy and trying to talk to me, and then you, you say you like K-drama, you'll be my best, like my, my babe. I say, you'll be, my, you'll be a babe to me because... Leave me Leave me let me who? Let me what? Let me why? <laughs> so if there's one piece of advice that you know most Nigerians should should be reminded of, you know, you know the way we do affirmations, this this brand new behavior of affirmation is beautiful. Where you write positive things about yourself, you post it on your mirror so that you paste it on your mirror so that every morning you look at it and you say, I am beautiful, I am blessed, I'm amazing, and all that. I think we should also start pasting sticky notes of as Nigerians on that note you write as I step out today I will not drink paracetamol for another person's headache because in Nigeria we too like like it's, it's, it's very difficult for us to mind our business almost in most cases and what I might fast I'm sorry that I have to generalize, but this is becoming too much of Daniel Rega because what is his problem? I don't even know. I don't know. Daniel Rega, let the poor breathe. Don't suffocate us. What is all this? What am I saying about the poor? Let the rich breathe because he's always finding a way to attack rich people. I think it's a strategy. I think it is a strategy. I'm beginning to unravel this Daniel Rega guy. It's a strategy because if he does not attack Davido, he will attack a, he will attack a PRO of police. If he does not attack a, his recent victim is, is uh, Mr. Easy. When Mr. Easy posted a spread of his table where he had jollof rice, he had uh, swallow, he had soup, he had several things on his table. And then Daniel Rega replied, that how will you be eating, only you be eating all this amount of food. See the meat, the meat is too much. See the fish, the fi this reminds me of her four boys in Uniben, where you be cooking beans downstairs. As you say, maybe you just sprinkle salt. Somebody from upstairs that did not contribute to, to the cooking of the beans. Ah! Not to put salt, not to put salt, and not to they like salt. That's 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 Daniel Rega's behavior because what the heck is all this nonsense? But that's okay. If that's what gives him clout on social media, but I will not lie to you. I'm very scared for that boy because the rate at which is going, the rate at which is going, he'll be going, 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 going. Somebody will just, you just. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's bring it back. Let's let's come back to sanity. Um, Bill Gates was in Nigeria recently and. Um, there's something he said, there's something he said that really struck me. He said the last time he came to Nigeria, the popular artists or popular celebrities that he knew were David O and Whiskey. And upon coming back again, he said his child said to him, when you get to Nigeria, please say hello to Bonaboy and Rema. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Does this now validate the new cat an old cat theory. Meow. New cats. David Do. Be like say don't jabo. <laughs> Alright, folks, that has been it on trends of the week for this week. My name is Ella the Fourth. Don't forget, I'm my boy is my job. Thank you. It's my salary. I love it.